YouTube viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another haul video. Here we have a loose Marvel Legends Thor from the Giant Man series, uh, made by Toy Biz. And this is the third time that I've shown this figure in a haul video. The first one I got on eBay, and it was in spectacular condition should have just left him alone but I wanted him for ACBA and started to modify him um, and then realized like that I needed one as a backup in case my modifications didn't pan out well so then I got a second one off of Facebook and got a pretty decent deal on the second one but the seller didn't tell me that his waist had been glued so in the setup I did for haul video 56 with all the Avengers that has this figure in it um, it was pretty challenging to get him posed correctly number one the cape uh, is so big and inflexible that it um, kind of interferes with uh, set certain setups and also the waist wouldn't rotate so I couldn't quite get him in the pose that I wanted him to. So I figured I'd better get another one that didn't have a, a glued waist. I'm still hoping that I can um, fix uh, that waist. Hopefully it wasn't broken that um, hopefully somebody was just trying to tighten it up and they uh, overdid it and that I can uh, loosen the glue on that other figure. Now this one unfortunately not a, not anything really major wrong with it but the um, cape from the factory just the way that it's molded is extremely far to the right there so um, makes him even more challenging to pose because uh, all the throws off his center of gravity so he you know is constantly looks like he's leaning on that left leg so um, not quite sure and he, you know he needs some paint touch up but otherwise nothing major wrong with him the um, hammer is a little uh, handle is a little bent on that as well but you know nothing I can't um, fix with a little bit of heat but um, anyway basically he's just a, a backup um, for the other two that uh, I'm going to try to fix up um, I'm looking into trying to put uh, cloth capes on these guys if you guys have any suggestions on uh, like a Superman figure or something that might come with a cloth cape that would look really good on this guy please let me know in the comments below all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Next up, we have an AIM scientist on the left and a Toy Biz Super Scroll on the right. The AIM soldier or AIM scientist came from good old Boog Nice, Boog Nice or Boog ACBA so thank you sir for the trade he had been wanting the thing or Ben Grimm thing from the Fantastic Four Classics lines the Thunder launch thing he um, let's see somebody I think it was Fernando Fernando uh, was selling one and uh, JC Cortez beat him to it so um, I saw that uh, Boog was interested in, in one and I had um, I had one that I had as a backup. I actually got it to try to fit into my um, fantastic car but it, it was just not going to fit so I ended up getting a movie thing to fit in there. So um, hit him up and he didn't have anything at the, at the moment that I wanted to trade so he had to wait until he could find a um, an army builder and um, was able to get this uh, aim soldier for me so um, 
took took him a while. I guess he's been having a hard time trying to track those down. But um, very glad to replace the one that I traded away for the white suited jigsaw. So uh, <laughs> trade one and trade one back. So happy to uh, get this. Um, and I didn't necessarily need another aim soldier, but um, just in case uh, one of mine breaks or um, we don't end up getting that um, uh, comic version of Star Lord, because I want to get at least two um, of that figure, one to make into a um, Red Skull. Because I've seen somebody, uh, Chris Happy Day Customs, actually did a really good version um, that Feral Black purchased of an AIM soldier repainted. But I don't want to have to worry about paint rub on a yellow figure, so I'm going to try to get that dark blue with the Star Lord, and um, I think that'll um, solve a lot of customization issues. Then a gentleman on Facebook, um, I cannot for the life of me, oh, a blue. Spider Customs had um, this Fantastic Four Classics uh, scroll, Super Scroll, but he was missing his head. And so I asked him how much he wanted. He said, make me an offer. I offered him uh, $11 uh, shipped for it, and he was cool with that. It did have a little bit of damage there. I don't know if you can see that on the, the rubber piece on the shoulder. Um, which he was, you know, very upfront about, um, and uh, didn't really have too many concerns since I have so many of these. And yes, he did not have. He came without the head. This head, um, I was lucky enough to hit up um, Billy Mahoney, uh, aka Bill Maru, and um, the toy canic himself was uh, fortunate enough to have a spare Super Scroll head. This is um, from the two-pack Super Scroll and um, hit him up and asked him how much he wanted for it and um, I think he charged me six bucks shipped so uh, very cool to get a complete um, Super Scroll. Um, all I'll have to do is just put a little bit of a um, dark green wash on it to match the paint on his neck and uh, bam I'll have a um, you know slightly fatigued but uh, very good uh, super scroll for my collection I have this will make I think uh, I want to say 15 super scrolls um, and but only two of mine are the Fantastic Four Classics. Uh, I'm sorry, only two of the purple ones I have are the Fantastic Four Classics, because I, I have the uh, the orange um, flaming Super Scroll and the invisible Super Scroll, which are also from the Classics line. Um, but only two of my purple ones are uh, from the Classics line, and all the rest are from two packs. So thank you, Mr. Mahoney. I really appreciate that. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to the next items. Now, this is a haul, boys and girls. Speaking of Billy Mahoney, as I was earlier, I happened to be on chat with him and our mutual friend, Johnny M., and he was getting ready to move and was trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, he was offering a bunch of uh, accessories and fodder pieces, weapons, that kind of stuff, anything that we could use for ACBA um, for sale. And so me and Billy were kind of, uh, it was almost like an auction um, who basically whoever spoke up first would get first dibs on on something and um, we were kind of uh, you know doing a almost like a tug of war um, we, I think we both came out like bandits um, and then uh, Bob the Odd was in there as well and uh, um, I'm gonna wait because I don't know, don't know if he's gonna do a haul video but he got <laughs> something is very um, very fitting for Bob the Odd, 
But anyway, um, so basically I was looking for stuff that I could use um, in general with the ACBA, but uh, weapons and accessories for Asgardians and for um, my Super Scrolls because I want to do a huge uh, Secret Invasion display. And so I needed uh, sci-fi weapons and um, and weapons that are more um, medieval looking for like a um, uh, a battleground like on um, Jodenheim or something like that. So I was really lucky to get those uh, huge shields from 300 and all those great swords and bows and um, shields and axes and uh, let's see man it's just so much stuff I can't believe it. I can barely get everything in the shot and yeah just so many good uh, weapons and accessories heads I got those hands um, to try to swap out with um, with Hulk and God just so many good uh, sci-fi weapons and just general accessories. I got the, this really cool um, cobra snake and uh, a bat, um, some handcuffs, gas masks, radios, holsters, uh, just so much good stuff. I was hoping that one of those jackets would, um, and uh, Johnny was um, thinking that one of those jackets would fit on my, um, my thing. Ben Grimm figure, but I think it's a little bit too small, especially in the arms and the um, uh, the sleeves. And I got this cool uh, Hawaiian shirt that uh, maybe I can put on Deadpool or something like that. So very cool. Um, got some heads there. I have the um, I have that Maria Hill head. I know in brown. I don't know that I have it in red, so I went ahead and uh, picked that up. But um, yeah, Johnny gave me an amazing deal on all this stuff. Um, most of the auctions I've seen on eBay with uh, lots this big, you're looking at probably forty dollars or or so, um, or probably more, depending on. Um, what's in it but uh, he gave me a much better deal than that so I was extremely happy and uh, great dude he's selling some stuff on Facebook now so um, hit him up if, um, if you're looking for some loose figures alright let's uh, go ahead and check out the last thing in the haul and finally this week we have the Marvel Icons Venom. Now, if you watched my, I think it was my last haul video, you saw that I got the Icons Thor, and I stated that I don't collect Icons figures, but that I really liked that uh, Icons Thor. Um, can't really do much with him with the rest of my figures um, other than maybe pose him outside but I've been uh, keeping my eyes out for a Marvel Select Venom to go with my Dark Avengers because the only um, only Venom that I've had to use for that team is the black suited Spider-Man which he is in that you know powered down form most of the time but when he does um, kind of lose control he gets huge and um, after talking to my buddy uh, AJ Frost and asking him about the uh, the select um, you know he, he he's a lot more of a spider-man fan than I am and um, he recommended me getting the select but once he uh, once I explained to him what I was going to use it for, he's like, no, you know what, you should try to get the um, the icons. So I went on eBay and um, found a uh, Chinese seller or a seller in China that had this for um, 28 bucks shipped. And, you know, I'm always, as with most people, I'm always skeptical about um, buying stuff from 
Chinese sellers whether or not it's going to be a knockoff. Um, and for the most part, I didn't really care um, since you know I'm not a icons collector so much, and I'm not a mint on card collector. But um, yeah, I just didn't want to have to pay a fortune for this guy because he goes for like um, uh, 50 bucks, something around that neighborhood. If you can find one, especially um, in the package. So I, you know, took a gamble. At first, I sent them a message and asked because I the picture they had in the um, in the auction it showed him um, with uh, broken. Uh, well, at least one of the fingers was broken, so I messaged them and asked about that. But um, they assured me that the figure I'd be getting would be intact, so um, that's what I was most concerned about, because trying to repair that or replace those fingers would be next to impossible. So um, after immediately after they uh, messaged me back, I pulled the trigger on it and um, yeah I was just lucky that nobody else bid on it because uh, I think the buy it now price was like um, 35 35 ships something like that so uh, pretty damn good deal um, I, I have no reason to believe that it's not a legit um, Toy Biz figure he almost fell there um, it does have the Toy Biz stamp. Of course, you're not going to be able to read that on camera, but uh, it does have a Toy Biz stamp on the bottom. Um, and, you know, it certainly still could be a knockoff, but, um, and I don't really care, <laughs> but uh, it feels, it doesn't feel like um, real brittle plastic, which is what kind of seems to be the norm for. Um, for knockoff figures and um, the tongue is on a wire so um, that's nice I don't know I'm not that familiar with the character whether or not his jaw is supposed to be quite so um, misaligned that's about the only thing that I would be um, concerned about maybe trying to fix is try to heat that up and straighten his jaw but um, yeah, if you're uh, on the fence about trying to get this guy for cheap on uh, eBay and um, you see a seller in China that's um, got, I think it's, uh, God, I don't want to say, something like Jake's, uh, Jake's Toys or something like that. I can't remember um, what they're called, but um, yeah, it seems very legit. I'm very happy with the figure it got no no complaints and uh, it did actually come on a uh, plastic backing which seems to fit the character perfectly so that just makes me think it's even more legit and it does come with the um, comic book that uh, Toy Biz included with the their not just legends, but the icons apparently all came with a, a comic book well, as well. So um, yeah, that just makes me believe even more that this is a <clears throat> legit figure. And if it's not, I don't care because <laughs> it's going to work perfectly for what I need it to do. Just for a quick size comparison, I've got the Marvel Legends Infinite series. Spider-Man there, Amazing Spider-Man. Just to, if um, you're curious on how big this guy is, it is a 12-inch uh, figure, so I think it's going to look awesome as a um, totally hulked out Venom. Um, he did get huge like that in the Dark Avengers several times, so I'm looking forward to seeing how I can pull off some shots with him. Alright, well, hopefully you guys liked the video. You hit the like button, share with your friends, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Alright, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. That's crispy.